from the very start of this course, I was challenged to look at me, learning the importance of self-awareness. I learned that leaders who operate without self-awareness run the risk of being blindsided by destructive impulses and confused by emotion that threatens to derail their agenda and leadership effectiveness, which um, Reggie McNeil identifies in his book, Practicing Greatness. The moment I walked into the classroom, I was very much aware that I was drained, burned out, exhausted, frustrated, overwhelmed, and feeling as though I'd failed. And I don't think I ever took into consideration how me being in this state was affecting those around me, not until I joined this course. Each morning at the start of class, Dr. Hummel would lead us in a mindfulness exercise, which caused us to stop for the moment, be present, and sit in the presence of Jesus. The first few times I found this very difficult and all I could do was cry. I cried because of the very fact that while sitting in the presence of God or Jesus, he began to reveal to me the condition of my heart, which was distracted, busy, unsettled, and anxious. And also to the fact that I had neglected my family over some time. Though these were very difficult to know, um, I was very grateful for the fact that Jesus would reveal these things to me and I knew a change had to be made. I don't know how I had gotten to this point, but I was here and um, I thought I would be met with disappointment, but I was surprised to find such love and compassion in, in the presence of Jesus. In his presence, I found so much joy, so much calm, so much um, peace, um, which then began to affect me. We had these places that we would go to meet with Jesus. And one place I found myself um, meeting with him the most was in a park um, by the bank of a river as a, eight to, a six to eight year old little girl as he sat on the bench watching me play right beside him. Um, I became more and more aware of him. And the more I became more aware of him, I then became more aware of me and his view of me rather than my own. As time went by, while reading um, the book, Beautiful Compromise by John Tyson, I began to learn of heart idols. And heart idols are those things that we put before God in our affections, our values, and in our minds. Busyness that was rooted in self-importance, pride, and the fear of men were my heart idols. The busyness of life had uh, um, blinded me from seeing them as idols. Um, and though I was grieved by this and convicted, um, I was grateful for the fact that Jesus showed them to me. Um, and I began to um, thank him. I repented and began to seek his guidance and wisdom on how to make changes and adjustments in my life, which he began to do and is still doing up until this very point. Um, Towards the ending of the course, uh, within the last few weeks, we begin to learn about um, solitude. Practicing the way um, that was taught by John Mark Calmer. And he took this from the point of practicing the way of Jesus, when Jesus would, at time, go off to a solitary place and spend time with the Father. And in his time of um, explaining this, he talked about the quiet place, that place where we're still and silent in the presence of God. But not only just that, but he talked about the encounter, the encounter with self, the encounter with our enemy, and the encounter with our God. In encountering ourselves, 
um, emotions are um, brought to mind. And when those emo emotions are brought to the forefront, we're to recognize them, give them a name, and then hand them over to Jesus and leave them there. In encountering our enemy, we fight the lies of the soul's enemy with the truth of scripture. And then when encountering God, it is there that we sit with him, we seek him alone. We seek him and we listen. We listen and then we enjoy the presence of his love. Taking all this into account, I have learned that it's in the place of solitude where character is built. And in coming to this awareness, I have become a better me. And in becoming a better me, God is making me into a better leader, which would therefore go out into the community to influence and impact those around me. This course has given me a confidence to lead. And for that, I will forever be grateful. This is just the start of something new that God is doing in me, and I believe he will continue to do. Thank you.